City crews have been out treating side streets and bike lanes in Denver. A welcome relief to many people. We sent Tori Mason out to check out all the progress. So, Tori, are things moving uh, pretty easily out there? Well, Karen, the traffic downtown is fantastic, but when those plows roll through the streets, a lot of the uh, painted bike lanes, they're still covered in snow, pushing cyclists into traffic. But recently, the city has doubled its efforts in plowing protected bike lanes like this one, making more cold commutes safer. I almost took the bus yet today, and then I was like, yeah, no, I'll just ride. <laughs> John Ricky prefers a two-wheeled commute. Rain, snow, or shine. And there are always a couple of tracks in there that you can tell people have bicycled by there. Cyclists are more concerned about the hazards they can't see. If it's icy, then yeah, that's a problem. If it's just snowy, it's generally not a problem. Ricky has an old bike with regular old tires, making plowed bike lanes crucial for his commute. The city recently added another specialized plow to keep the road under Ricky safe. The two that we have right now with nine miles of protected bike lanes in the city is enough to, you know, help maintain. The city plows its protected bike lanes with the same frequency as its main streets, dropping liquid de-icer as needed. But much like treated roads, treated bike lanes could slip you up too. Take it nice and easy. Keep it in a low gear, you know, Let's just be careful. So that extreme cold we're having overnight could limit the effectiveness of de-icer. That goes for both roads and these protected bike lanes here. So just make sure to give yourself some extra time in the morning and definitely allow for more stopping distance between vehicles. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado first.